the game ended in the third quarter and everybody's bets were canceled and all over the internet was like what the hell happened to my bet All right, guys, it's Ken with Picking Duck. I'm here to talk to you today about sports betting rules. I'm sure you guys are like, I already know the damn rules, how to bet, blah, blah, blah. But what happened last night when the Ravens were playing the Eagles? The game ended in the third quarter and everybody's bets were canceled. And all over the Internet was like, what the hell happened to my bet? Well, the rules came into play, guys. And usually, as sports bettors, we don't really look at the rules too much. Um, it, it doesn't really happen that we need to look at the rules in um, in NFL or baseball, maybe not even in basketball. But in tennis, quite often, they, they suspend or um, retire the game. So with tennis rules, that's something that you always gotta look up because that varies per book but let's talk about the ravens and the eagles and what happened when they canceled well the the game got delayed and then they just ended the game they didn't even play a fourth quarter well probably by now you've you've been seeing it all over and those those uh those ravens fan uh the raven betters are probably all angry that you know they didn't get to win the bet but i'm sure those eagle betters are cheering it on right so the rule was that the game has to go over 55 minutes now uh, to constitute action so this was not this is not just a preseason rule this is a rule over um, football in general so it just happened to occur during preseason now for football for if you're doing like first half second half or, or quarters um, I even had to look this up and those will qualify, you know, as soon as that quarter ends. So which makes sense, right? So if you were betting on some of the quarters in, in that Ravens Eagle game, you would still get a win or, or a loss, basically. So you guys already know what happens in baseball. If you're a starting pitcher, if you play the action bets, then if your starting pitcher doesn't pitch, then they don't get um, they don't qualify for that that bet. The action is canceled. Now, um, what deems that your the pit your starting pitcher um, listed was actually a starting pitcher? Well, I had to look this up, and it's as as long as the pitcher throws the first pitch to the opponent that he's the starting pitcher so you know that's something that you'd want to keep track of because you know if he if he didn't even pitch or if he pitches in the first and then left in the first you know is he still the starting pitcher the answer is yes so that's good for you you know if you're if you're playing those type of bets now tennis is the one that i mentioned that has different rules uh whether you're you're retiring in the in the first or something happens in the first set you know so that's one that if you're betting tennis you always want to look up the rules in your own sports book so you know this is just a friendly reminder guys about when you're betting in your book try and look up the rules just to see make sure that there's no funky rules that that your book is coming up with you know maybe you're using an obscure book that not a lot of people play at just because they give you some good bonuses or whatever but Try to read the rules and hopefully your books will follow the rules, guys. That's it for today. Hope you do good in the sports book today. Don't forget, make your picks on Picking Duck. We got all the NFL lines up. And then uh, I've been talking to some people and they're asking for us to do our super contest. It's actually a super free contest, different from the Westgate. So we'll see if we can work that out before the season starts. So we'll check back with you guys later. Have a good one.